Belly to go. Except Skybet are refusing to pay out customers on the basis that this was not a shot on target, blaming Opta for the decision. To make matters worse, they were running an enhanced special for Mason Mount to have two or more shots on target inside 90 minutes. Anyone who took it hasn't been paid out, which has left a lot of Skybet customers frustrated and upset on social media. So I've investigated this a little bit further. Is this a case of Skybet screwing their customers over yet again, or is it just perhaps some confusion by football fans. Now there can't be any confusion that Mount's 76 minute goal was indeed a shot on target. So it only leaves this first attempt mentioned. Skybet pay Opta for football statistics and data, sharing their definition of a shot on target via the Skybet website, where it states, shots on target include any goal attempt that goes into the net regardless of intent for goals only, or is a clear attempt to score that would have gone into the net but for being saved by the goalkeeper or is stopped by a player who is the last man, with the goalkeeper having no chance of preventing the goal, last line block. So let's take a look at that replay again. Is this a clear attempt to score? More than one commentator certainly thought so. So was it an attempt to score that would have gone into the net for being saved of the goalkeeper? What do you think? Let us know in the comments down below. To me, that certainly looks like it would have gone in if Jack Butland hadn't stopped it. There was certainly enough power behind it. To me, at least, it looks like Skybet are playing judge, jury, and executioner to their financial benefit here, yet again. And they can, because who's gonna stop them? The Gambling Commission certainly have no intention, which is unsurprising if you've seen other videos about them on this channel. But it gets more interesting because on the same day, Conor Grant, the chief executive of Flutter's UK and Ireland division, the holding company behind Skybet, said that customers have to be number one consideration. Hopefully this wasn't just corporate waffle spinelessly hiding behind Opta and the customers eventually get paid out here. Given past experiences with Betfair and other Flutter companies, I wouldn't hold my breath. Now thanks for watching, don't forget to like and subscribe, we've got more useful videos for you here in the end screen.